Hello everybody, I'm Yoko from Opium Pulses and how about we play The Wolf Among Us, I have no idea if it's a what, okay? So let's just get on with it. And you might be asking, you might be saying actually, Yeah, where the heck is your green headphone that raises a beautiful thing? And for that I must say, don't ask, just don't ask. That's not a thing related to this channel, that's something, some sort of personal. So it won't be here. You won't hear any news about it here. Just know that I have to use this guy for now. Until I buy a new headphone. Uh, and I just blow it away, so never mind. Okay. Let's say play. Continue. And loading, as usual. <sighs> Well, he didn't technically do anything about from breaking the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> do you even don't give a damn about what I say? Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Yep. Mr. Smith. Let me just properly position myself. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. This is not so proper, okay. On shift. Yeah, that's Beauty. it. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I so that's Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean look. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or uh... Got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. Okay, okay. A totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? At least now he knows that we weren't like. You know, uh, do whatever he was thinking kind of that caused the door to collapse like or at the break. Exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta do it. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built in cassette player? I think so, yes. Just checking, making sure. So I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. I mean, I'm trying. It's still a body is a body. When it's dead, there's no like point. Ooh, is that a ball? Smell something? Nope. No. An apple. Just apple. Is this the same apple that's the uh, I think it's no bite there's no bite. There's no white beat and collapsed because it was poisonous and all that. We shouldn't even be in here. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Yep, I was about to say the same thing. What is this? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. <laughs> okay. The whole book is about her. Yep. Yeah. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Yep, apparently. Explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no! Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. Yeah, she I almost died when. Uh... 
Oh, uh, seriously, I wanted to read this, but I can't. This thing is just unreadable. Okay. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Well, apparently in the like oh, no. the real life version, they decided to kill her and just in general. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This Couldn't he just set up some sort of uh, like, it's like a theater and just yeah. have people play that thing yes. instead of all this? Somebody's oh okay the same anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean not exactly here, but just how does a person We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. So let's just look more at the evidence. She must have been so scared. Yeah, I can imagine. For my arrival, okay. I prefer not to open that for now, but I can imagine that it's some sort of a dress related to that book. And what the heck is this? Wine. Classy. Damn it, get it well, that's definitely blood, because we can smell things. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Yeah, well, he, I can see that. Been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. See? I think Smith was dressing Lily. Up. I connected the evidence. I'm a good detective. Yes. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. See the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and Yeah, but it doesn't everything. Yeah, but in the book the girl doesn't die and her dress is just on, you know. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I mean, you can leave. Ooh, we found a pack. And we're gonna grab the pack. And after the door will disappear. And we're gonna take a careful look. Yep. No, I think that's the real guy. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the hell? Crane, you idiot! Why did you break the mirror? I mean, I could have listened to the for my arrival and all that. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really, 
really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. No, oh, what's up? Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. What? What did you do? Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Hmm, that sounded like Toad. Hmm, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 16.9% of players sympathized with him. How did you thread the murder suspect? You and 37.6% of players forced him to talk. What? I... I gave him the cigar, I made... I allowed him to drink, I did everything, I only did one thing. And that was to, like... You know, tighten up the things. How did they force him to talk and then he didn't talk? <sighs> For Pete's sake, how did... what... what... The, oh, come on. Okay, did you let us snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 91.9 .9 players let her make her own decision, okay? How did you handle Georgie per... You and 69% didn't hit Georgie. Well, when I tried to hit Georgie, I didn't hit Georgie, I hit the things around it. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players, percent of players oh, opted not to hit Beast a second time. Okay. We play for like 5 more minutes because I'm not sure how much time is left. So, yeah, that's good to know. What the heck? Eh, fine by me. As long as it walks. Ichi! Our stories oh. used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Yep, we have seen a ghost, all right. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Marissa. Fortunately, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. The open arms. Oh my god. It's rather bloody arms than open arms. What is it? <gasps> the wrath of God. It's crane. Yes, that's creep. Ugh. Ugh. Can I listen to the tape now? Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Like... Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Yep, that's the place to go. Wait. What? 
The screen is shaking. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But what are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Oh, okay, okay. I keep that in mind. If the game doesn't do sp stupid things, then I tell it what to do. Hmm, promising leads. Yay! I would like to listen to the cassette. Ooh, this is nice. I mean, it's not nice, it's a funeral, but I mean, the setup looks nice. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted. Okay, don't interrupt. Let's just be nice. We are here. If anything happens, we can stop it. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that. That the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that. It mm, let's just take a look at this while they are talking. I also know that, that the memory of Lily. I can appreciate the surround sound. I'll miss worrying about you. Time, I'll miss our fights. In strength I'll miss to our you, her loss. Holly. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so great. Mm, you book fable. Never die from indifference or lead a tedious life. Stubborn Goodbye, and sweetheart. patient. Thanks Rash for everything. And thoughtful. Vivian. Now she carried a torch for the old ways, hmm. for tradition, for um, pageantry. You were a big, and bright, all, shining star it seems in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already. Her friends and friend. she loved well, those were touching boots. In good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart. That she would have liked to be Come on, tonight. I want to mess with this thing. Our, um, Come on, game, don't be science. lame. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? Yay, wait a No, not you. Oh, come on! Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, yeah, I'm not here for you or he like no anything. Right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? What? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Yeah, about that. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I just came to pay my respect, Holly. I don't mean any harm. Oh, really? You have no respect you can pay. You don't care about any of us. I mean, I think I shouldn't okay. have okay, bought look, the snow Rick part here because are they are super mad. Far away from the ceremony, all right? Look. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. 
It's your turn to talk. I tried to be nice. I don't know why everybody was so mad at me. What did I do? I know you didn't come here to pay your respects, so whatever it is better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I yeah, same. We really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it, to not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow, and I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Yep, I mean, I wait. I want to be nice and all that. I'm here, so nothing will happen. At the motel, did you find anything? Yeah. No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Eh. Okay, I played for like too long. We'll cop it. Cop it. We cut it after this. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. Ah, for Pete's you know sake. This goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, How do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Oh, right come now. on. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Hey, calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady love. No, 
Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Uh oh. Yeah, kill her. Aha! In your face! Yeah. This is stomach! Ah, my face! Was that my face? I think I can do better... Better... I can do better next time I come here. Yeah, you know what? The next time I start like all over again and do it the right way. I sheen... I, I sheen... Uh, I think... I should... <laughs> belly full of stuff. I should tell them that, like, you know, it's a deal and all that, so they just, you know, leave and all. So... What the heck? Oh, okay. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe and let me know down in the comment section what you think about this series. For the next time, for the next video, till then, take care.